Hello, my name is Yadir Rivera, and I'm going to be solving a problem from my discrete structures class. The problem is, let n and k be integers such that n is greater than k is greater than or equal to 0. Prove that n combination k plus n combination k plus 1 is equal to n plus 1 combination k plus 1. Now, to prove that this equals this, we're going to have to prove first the left-hand side and then the right-hand side. So let's start with the left-hand side. We want to use the formula n combination k is equal to n factorial divided by k factorial times n minus k factorial. All right, now let's begin with the left-hand side, which I will abbreviate as LH. So the left-hand side is equal to n combination k plus n combination k plus 1. Now using the formula, we write this as n factorial divided by k factorial times n minus k factorial plus n, factorial, n combination k plus 1. All right, now we want to use the same formula to plug in these values, which will give us here. We pass this down. We had this became that, and now this becomes this part. And combination, n factorial, sorry, divided by k plus 1 factorial, n minus k plus 1 factorial. Which, if we, write, if we rewrite this, it's just going to change the n minus k plus 1 to just n minus k minus 1. Okay. Now, the next step we want to do is we want to give both of these fractions the same denominator so that we can add them. So, for the first one, we want to multiply it times the denominator of the second fraction. So we write this as this is being multiplied times k plus 1 factorial divided by, I mean, times n minus k minus 1 factorial. And the same goes for the numerator. And then this side, we want to multiply by the denominator of the first fraction. We have k factorial times n minus k factorial over k factorial times n minus k factorial. All right, so when you multiply these out, you're going to get You're going to get n factorial times k plus 1 factorial times n minus k minus 1 factorial plus n factorial, k factorial, n minus k factorial. And now the denominator is the same, so we can combine the fractions into 1 and write out the numerator all together. Now. To continue simplifying, when we look at the numerator, we looked at, at the two numbers being added, we can see that here we have n factorial and here we have n factorial. So that's a number we can take out and re rewrite it as n factorial times the whole expression k plus 1 factorial times n minus k minus 1 factorial plus k factorial times n minus k factorial divided by k factorial n minus k factorial k plus 1 factorial times n minus k minus 1 factorial. Oof. All right. So the next step, we want to keep simplifying this. 
we know that by definition of factorial, that k plus 1 factorial, k plus 1 factorial, would also be equal to k plus 1 plus 1 times k factorial, by definition of factorial. So, which, so then we can rewrite this down here, right there. We change this to this, over here, k plus 1 times k factorial. And now, when we look at the expression, we see that we have a k factorial here and a k factorial here. So that's another number we can take out in the simplifying process. All right, so now we took out the k factorial and we have another k factorial in the denominator so we could cross those out. That's our first step. And then we gives us, here we go, we have, we have the same expression minus the k factorial because we, we eliminated the k factorial. So now we want to rewrite this term here, same way we did with the k plus 1. We know that by definition of factorial, n minus k factorial is also equal to n minus k multiplied by n minus k minus 1 factorial. So in place of that, we plug in this term. All right. So once we plug in that term, we can see that now we have an n minus k minus 1 factorial and an n minus k minus 1 factorial. So that's another number we can take out, put it outside of the brackets, and then simplify the fraction even more. So now we took it out. We can cross it out. We eliminate it from the numerator and the denominator. And now we have n factorial times k plus 1 plus n minus k divided by n minus k factorial times k plus 1 factorial. So our fraction is finally getting smaller. We could rewrite this, simplify this, get rid of the parentheses. So we would have n factorial times k plus 1 plus n minus k over the denominator. And we have k minus k, so that cancels out the k. So then we have it equals n factorial times n plus 1 divided by n minus k factorial times k plus 1 factorial. And knowing the property of factorial, we know that this can be rewritten as this, same way as it goes here, it works backwards. So n factorial times n plus 1 can also be written as n, fact n plus 1 factorial. So here we have finally finished simplifying the left-hand side. That's as far as we can go. Now, our goal is to make the right-hand side, the right-hand side, equal to the left-hand side. So now we have to continue and solve for the right-hand side and see if it gives us the same result as the left-hand side. So for the right-hand side, in case you can't remember, it's, over, it's up there, but for the right-hand side we have that n plus 1 combination k plus 1. So we want to reuse the same formula we used at the beginning. n combination k equals n factorial divided by k factorial times n minus k factorial. We're going to plug in these terms for n and k. So it gives us n plus 1 factorial divided by k plus 1 factorial times, bracket, open bracket, n plus 1 minus k plus 1, close bracket, factorial. So first thing we could do is we can get rid of these parentheses here. And we could just rewrite that as n plus 1 factorial divided by k plus 1 factorial times n plus 1 minus k minus 1. So here we have the plus 1 minus 1. We can eliminate that term. So now we have n plus 1 factorial 
divided by k plus 1 factorial over n minus k factorial, which was the same solution as the left-hand side. Therefore, the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, so n combination k plus n combination k plus 1 is, in fact, equal to n plus 1 combination k plus 1. Thank you for watching the video.